great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Chicago Bears. That heavy stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he'll take this ahead for about four. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Now Fields. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. A first carry for Elijah Mitchell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right. He just made a great play there. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Lance. It's caught, Mitchell. And he'll only really get this to So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run for the goal. Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Seven yards there and a first down. Okay. I can stand up when the door gets tough in here. On second down, here's the option. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. The risk reward and him taking hits. I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now it's Fields. He's going to sling this deep downfield and unable to connect, incomplete. They have to give up the football again after this one. Now here's Trenton Gill on to punt. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. Here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now here's the option play going left. A solid gain of seven yards. Then the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. And Lance again going to keep it. And he's going to have a Niners first down as the tackle made it about the 43. When you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Meanwhile, Lance's throw complete here to IU. Much. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Lance to throw it. And it's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. See if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right? When these teams are locked in and going at it. No points going up on the coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. No hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. 
A run of the Jets sweep with Jones. Dre Greenlaw. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. And he missed it. It's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. And on schedule on offense, the playbook is still open for the coordinator. From just shy of midfield, Lance. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down, here's Mitchell. He'll be hit down at the 33. And they did for a significant chunk of yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On second down, here's Mitchell. And only able to get two here. Stop us and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. We're scoreless after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Running left, here's Mitchell. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as a ball carrier. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. The Lance going to throw. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the 49ers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. The Bears on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. The first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. On first and 10, here's Fields. Completes to Mooney on the slam. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. And this will be a Bears first down as he's got this up to the 45 yard. More and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Fields throw there, complete to Mooney. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. On second and inches, Fields. Give them a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And back the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old school defense right now. The new school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run. And they a fourth down and short situation. I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? you got to know where the marker is, right? Got to figure it out. I know every receiver's taught that. And after the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Lance. And this 
This is going to be incomplete. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be a net of 39, and they probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, Joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready. Five yards remain on second down. The field's going to take this himself. And he'll get this only up to about the 30. Fields on third down. Got an open man. It's Pringle. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Down for him, too. First down now, but that clock rolling. Back to throw. Fields. And they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Fields. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. That is. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. To the air again, Fields. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. Well, Fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the left hash, this from 46. Santos' kick is up and through, and they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone. He's getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a the toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. And they're able to get this one across the 30. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Lance. That's another one complete to Mitchell. And he'll be taken down, but not before. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And a breakthrough here. We'll see if they can do it on this drive. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. To throw again on second down, Lance. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes their pursuers, but how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one? Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. It'll be 37 yards there. On. It was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Here's Fields. And that is incomplete. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Here's a give to Herbert. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And he's going to be marked down. Because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10. To any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. 
That was an incompletion force there, but we've seen it throughout. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. He's at the 50, 30, 10, 5, and into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have the coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. That'll be caught. It's St. Brown. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Chicago. Equinemia St. Brown, 75 yards. And the Bears have come back to make it a two-point game. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a field. I think he had such good size, but his quickness now is overwhelming when he works inside against guards and centers. And that allows him to make plays as one we just saw there getting into the backfield and getting a tackle for the loss. He's got a man complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And assignments are run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Lance now on third and goal. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk from 10 yards out. And the 49ers have taken the lead. Now that's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. Gold. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Off play action. Fields. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. That's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. I know where to go with the football, really, in pre-snap. Identify where you want to go and get rid of it. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This returnable for Ayuk. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to a point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down. On second and nine, Lance. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And at this stage, in the fourth, they need to work this into the end zone. A field goal doesn't do much. The edge. 
So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Fields now to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw his fields. That's complete to Mooney. On their way downfield, and when they see openings, take their shots. On first down, it's Fields. He'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That's darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. On second down, Montgomery. And finding room to work, he's down to the two-yard line. Let's tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy that... But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Sell, do you? No, you really don't, because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it, because once everyone's emotions come down, Hard to start him up again, so I think he may want to keep him cranking high right here. At the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him, and since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. And what you're saying is, maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Really hurts the team on defense. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. When they absolutely need the football back, that's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Elijah Mitchell taking it in from two yards out. And the Niners have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. But just power football there, down near the goal line. Give it to him, he's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible, but all they're doing... After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready time don't we the defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum so you know they're riding high right now and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time and we'll see if the off so back to back incompletions and that has them staring at a third and ten now fields and that will be incomplete well, they weren't scared to They snap it to Fields. And yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So they elect to decline it. They run over center with Mitchell. And the result here, a pickup of eight. This offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Yeah, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And it's with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Now Lance going to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. And a 
across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Niners have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Golden to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. Fields on first down. There's Mooney with another catch. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Meanwhile, Fields throw complete here to commit the entire game using a variety of coverages. Here we go on fourth down. Fields looking deep downfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory.